Through the tattered curtain at my window, a faint glow announces the arrival of dawn. My hands are curled like question marks. I can't move at all. Nothing but an eyelid. And I feel nothing. No, I feel everything. All over the world, people pray for me. But all of these prayers are merely clay ramparts compared to my daughter's prayers every night when she closes her eyes. Coming this fall to Dallas, Texas, is a unique story about a man who overcomes struggle, a horrific accident, and finds benevolence and love at the end. The opera is The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. It's a book that was written by Jean-Dominique Bobby, a former fashion editor at the Elle magazine who lived in Paris, France, until one day, upon suffering a massive seizure, he developed locked-in syndrome. It's when your mind is trapped in your body, but fully lucid and functional. And the only part of his body he could move was his eye. He could blink. And he ended up blinking out through a very sophisticated system of letters and writing out those words. He was able to tell one of the most beautiful stories ever told. This is a story about the diving bell, about being caught um, in, in the throes of this, but it's also a story of the butterfly. What, what, what we all possess, the ability to use our imaginations to sort of transcend difficulty. What I think is so inspiring about the book and what I'm trying to capture in the music and Jean's captures so beautifully in the libretto is the sense of, of, the, of the indomitable spirit, the way that love conquers all and that more than anything else we as human beings have this irresistible desire to communicate. And music being the most communicative of, of art forms, it seemed very appropriate that we, we would make it into an opera. We've had a, a wonderful set of traditions here at the Dallas Opera of world premieres, and every single singer is going through this rehearsal process, the director, the creatives, and, and our orchestra, all of that, where they're experiencing this for the very first time. That's something that's got its own level of excitement, and the opera world is excited about it, uh, as, as is the Dallas audience, because this is from the same team that brought us Everest, so it's a dream team. This is the story told only as Joby Talbot and Gene Shear can tell, and I have the honor and the privilege of playing this man in The Diving Bell and the Butterfly this fall at the Dallas Opera. I hope you can join us. Yeah.